Hello and welcome to this NetIQ Access Manager demo. In this demo, I will show you single sign-on to Office 365 from both the desktop as well as from an iPad. Single sign-on is offered by using a federation between Access Manager and the Office 365 environment. So here we see a Windows 7 desktop. I will first open the browser and go to the default Microsoft Online login page. Here I will enter my email address that is registered within Office 365. And as soon as I leave this field, Office 365 will redirect me to the Ad Access Manager uh, environment, which we see here. Uh, there is no default contract in this demo, so I'll select the Office 365 contract. We see that the email address is automatically filled in. I only have to enter the passwords so I'll log in to Access Manager, which sends a federative uh, approval to Office 365, and we have a successful login into this system. So we see all the functionality we have here. We have the option to install a local Office 365 on this computer, which I've already done and which I'll show you later on in the demo. Um, we'll see that Outlook uh, is operational, and we can also go to uh, other functionality like uh, OneDrive. And if I select OneDrive, we see that there's one document available within the system. Okay, so this is just uh, showing you that we have access to Office 365 and that we have single sign-on. So let's close the browser. And next thing, I will open up uh, the local copy of Word, which has been installed from Office 365. So if go to all applications, see the Office suite there, and I can select Word. Now on installation, you have the option to sign in directly, which I haven't done in this case. So I now have the option to sign in to Office 365. And when I select this again, I'm asked for my same username and password. Uh, so the email address, and. I'm asked for my password. Now, this is still my enterprise password, and this actually uses WS Trust as a protocol to sign me in through Access Manager. So, on the top right, you can see that I've been logged in to Word. So, let's create a new document that we can use uh, later on. Um, very simple, just add some text and we'll create this, um, this document. So we've seen that uh, this sign-on works on Word, it works on the other application as well, like Link, uh, Outlook, and I'll show you OneDrive later on. So we're going to save this document, and here we go, we'll select OneDrive immediately. Um, this will set up a synchronization again to the cloud to uh, verify my authentication. And when that's done, I'm able to give this document a name and save it to the OneDrive to the cloud storage. So this document is saved. Let's close it. Um, and then we'll go to the OneDrive, which is also installed on this machine, of course. We've opened it up. We see the two documents. So the one I saw in the browser and the new one. And of course, I'm able to open it. The green icon shows me that it's already uploaded to the cloud, so it is synchronized without any authentication or without at least a second authentication. So this concludes the uh, demo part on the desktop. Um, and we will continue with the iPad. So as you all know, you have the ability to install Word and other Microsoft applications on iPad devices, on iOS devices. And here we see on the bottom Word. Let's select this. This will open up the Word application. And of course, we have the opportunity to log in. So on the top left, we see this is a Dutch version. So it says aanmelden, which means log in. Again, we type in the same email address that we've been using uh, all this whole demo. And after we've entered that email address, we will click on the next button.
you'll see that uh, this iPad app actually uses uh, browser-based authentication. So we'll get a redirect to the Office 365 web environment, which redirects us straight away to our Access Manager server. And after that redirect is done, I have the option to enter the password of that same user. Here we are, this is the access management portal. I'll enter the password, which I've blocked so you can't read it in this demo. And we have a successful login. In the top right, you can see that I'm logged in as uh, the same user that we've been using all this time. So let's close this again and I'll show you the OneDrive functionality. Open OneDrive and basically the same scenario. You'll have to log in using your email address. And of course, all these iPad uh, logins are with secure tokens registered on the device. So you only have to do this once on your device. And the next time you use it, you'll have your single sign on. So we'll see a redirect again to the Office 365 environment, which gives another redirect to Access Manager and the same system. I'll block the password again, type in the password and we'll have a login. And this will show me the two documents that are on my OneDrive. So the document I just created on my desktop is available in OneDrive, so available from the iPad. There we go, the first document is the new one I created. So let's open that. And in the bottom there's an edit link. And if I select that, then Word will be opened for editing the document. So there we go, we see Word. Like I said, the sign-on is uh, kept on a token as a, with a token on this device, so we don't need to log in again. The document is actually downloading now, and after it's downloaded, it's available to edit within Word on this workstation. Well, this iPad actually. So there we go. We'll see uh, the documents. I'm able to modify, of course, the content and add some text to this and save the document. Now the default setting is to save this document automatically. If I click on the save button, you will see this. So if I close this and just exit the document, you will see that it will automatically be saved to the OneDrive and therefore available in the cloud to all my other devices that I can use. So this concludes the demo on both the desktop and the iPad. And in this way, we've shown you the authentication going through NetAQ Access Manager. So there's no ADFS in this setup at all uh, using WS Federation and WS Trust. Thanks for your attention.